This is the Arctroid. It's the most affordable plasma CNC available today for consumers. It's also the most user friendly. In this video, I'm going to go through what is all required in addition to the Arctroid to get you ready to make your first cut. First off, I'm going to link everything in the description down below that I used in my setup. Now that you have your Arctroid, the next thing you'll need is a compatible plasma cutter. I decided to go with the Hyundai CNC plasma cutter because not only was it the most affordable plasma cutter, it also has a CNC port where I can wire directly into the Arctroid, complete with a torch height controller plug as well. Some plasma cutters require you to take apart the torch handle to access the trigger wires. That's not the case with this one. I just ordered aircraft style plug and hooked it up. The next important thing you will need is an air dryer. Plasma cutters are very sensitive machines and if any moisture gets into the internals it can cause damage or it just won't work best case. I also bought an air dryer with a pressure regulator because the Hyundai has a max air pressure of 75 psi and I did not want to blow anything up. This cutter is on the more affordable side but it is still expensive. As for the table, I built it with some scrap angle that I had laying around. The welder I used for this is a good entry level welder made by WeldPro. Uh, I recommend using shield gas instead of flux core wire because your welds will be a lot cleaner and it's easier to weld. As for the water table, this is just totally scrap. I used an old ash pan from an outdoor fire pit. For the slats, I used some square tubing and welded some scrap from a metal shelf. This piece is removable and makes for easy cleanup. Since I'm using a water table, corrosion is a concern. I opted not to buy the expensive plasma table fluid. Instead, I'm just adding borax to the water. Uh, from what I've researched, borax and water will slow the rust formation, if you decide to keep the table full of water, that is. As for the next video, I'll be walking you through the process of turning a picture into a usable cut file in Arctroid. No, you don't need to use any expensive CAD software. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's any more that you'd like to see or know about my setup.